Well, hello guys, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Oh, what's a bumper week we've had our videos. Uh, uh, I'm loving it, are you loving it, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna do a, a general on uh, Meghan and Michael because uh, do you know what? I am sure the reason they are here this month is for another reason, okay? So what is she planning, okay? We know she wants to take revenge. You know, that's how she, fla you know, how she rolls. What's, uh, you know, what's Megan uh, planning uh, against the wrong royal family next? She's going to show her mum's boss. Uh, she's taking charge. She's showing them how strong she is. She's got a will, uh, a position. We're looking at a position, okay, a strong position uh, as well. So uh, that could be to, to, she's definitely going for our room. This is definitely her and it's got her mark all over it. But unfortunately, uh, it comes out of Harry's mouth here. Uh, I can see, you know, she's opening his mouth, letting the words out. She She's holding him while he's talking. So, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll uh, see, uh, you know, she's definitely uh, hell-bent on uh, doing something. What is it, you know? What is it? Oh, another speech, another speech. It's got to do, you know, all over the world again, in front of, you know, making a speech, uh, you know, trying to uh, establish yourself as a global ambassador, uh, this one. Uh, I've got Nano Kill. What's Nano Kill? Nano Kill, what's that? Nano Kill. Oh, Nano Kill, okay. That again. Came in, I'll take it. Oh, oh, oh two, two. You can be sure of it. She is uh, taking uh, charge. She's going to be doing a uh, uh, speech uh, again. Uh, global. She's doing something uh, with Global as well as, I don't know if it's a company uh, called Global. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then she may even uh, announce she's travelling and taking a, a trip as well because I'm getting the Far East, okay? <laughs> far East, Far East. That's what I'm getting as well. Okay. All right. So, uh, you know, she's going. So, you know, what what's behind this then? You know, what's behind uh, this? What's behind this uh, plan uh, to to get your own back and to go on stage and do it? Well, uh, I kind of feel like she doesn't know what she's on about yet. She doesn't know what she's uh, on about. There's something she doesn't, uh, you know, know. And there's something we don't know uh, as well. Um, where I'm thinking a decision might be made, I think there's a big title uh, issue coming here. Uh, you know, uh, I really do. So she knows uh, we want a title, so why don't she give us them? She's waiting out for a woman as well. She's waiting out for a woman, you know. Um, is she wanting something from this woman? So will she take revenge against the royals? Yes. How will she do this? She'll do it on the screen. The reason uh, why? Well, she doesn't understand herself, does she? She just goes from one thing to another because she doesn't know that she's ill. You know, she doesn't know that this is a, a, a problem. She doesn't, you know. You know, when I speak to my brother, right, because I've said before they've all got personalities, uh, disorders. Well, I say to him, you know, I have that honest conversation and say, oh, do you know what, Gavin, you sound like a, you, 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 my mother, you know. It's not a normal way to think. Doesn't anybody say that to people these days, you know. 
Okay, yeah, it's search for the reason. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe uh, there is a decision being made and we don't know uh, about it. What What is it that's, uh, you know, what's the latest uh, thing that's upsetting uh, Megan with the bloody uh, royal family? What are the royals doing, especially William? <laughs> Yeah, well, because they didn't get invited because they can't have the christening because they can't here. Because they can't have Christmas here. Fuck off. We don't want you, you know. Like California have you. <laughs> we don't want you. You're trash to us. Absolutely trash. She ain't giving up neither. She ain't giving up. You know, she's going to pull uh, this dagger out um, when she feels that there's no recourse, you know. I mean, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced it on a lighter note. Um, but... When you've had an argument with someone, and you probably sense that you're never going to speak to this person again, so it's like trying to get the last word in, you know, and you might be really mean. Uh, the last thing you say is really mean. So, you know, she's uh, she's going to take revenge. How does uh, Megan see the queen? How does Megan see the queen? Right, so I think she feels that, uh, you know, she could get away with anything with the Queen, you know, uh, he, he, that she could. Um, she could get away with anything with the Queen. But it's a shame that can't be said for William and Charles and they're the next to uh, biggies, aren't they? So, you know, how does she see the Queen? As well, you know, she wants to meet the Queen for, for more PR, for, for more stories, for more magazines, for more scurvy, uh, you know, for more bullshit, for more bullshit, you know, it's just PR. That's how she sees the Queen. Uh, it keeps her in the PR. Uh, her having problems with the Queen puts her in, uh, you know, the same uh, level of attention. How does Meghan feel uh, about Prince Charles? Well, I think they've spoke. Uh, you know, I really do. I feel like uh, they've spoke. She probably uh, has done something, you know, to say, oh, well done on the climate thing. I think she's on the phone with him. I think you're going to hear that uh, she's speaking to Charles. What does she think of uh, William? This spread is too nice for Megan. This spread is too nice. I feel like uh, this is in the family's caving in. The family's uh, caving in. Okay, so uh, maybe uh, support uh, yeah, uh, a bit of support. Oh, Harry, uh, you've been feeling sorry for yourself. Mm. Playing the victim, uh, a child. I've got uh, something about seeing the kid as well. So as William only just seen the child. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, this has blown my mind. This has blown my mind. This is not what we want to know. This is not what we want to hear. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Well, I just hope she thinks, uh, you know, William is being childish in, in a way. Okay. Uh, but she's on the phone with um, Charles. Right. Okay. Come on. Uh, Megan and Harry in touch. Uh, in a, a loving way with the royals. Oh, oh God, I want to be sick. I want to be sick. You, Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Something's gone on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So it's even... Oh. We did see uh, Kate with Harry, didn't we? Uh, I don't know if it's this month or next month. Oh, Jesus. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Just, uh...
This is so bad. This is so uh, bad. But a perfect opportunity for uh, Harry to crawl in, you know, when uh, Elizabeth uh, is not very well uh, at all. Is William and Catherine, uh, you know, uh, have they been in contact with Harry lately? No. I think he was getting uh, bullshit messages from uh, maybe Meghan or Harry. But I just feel like uh, things are, have been waiting to change, okay? So, um, I don't really see William uh, speaking to him then. What's Meghan's intentions uh, next for the royal family? What are in next? It's a, to meet up, to, to meet up, you know, it looks like they're going to meet up. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. <laughs> what? What? What is going on? I'm telling you guys, it's all like, uh, it looks like uh, Megan's going to be seen as the person to heal uh, the rift, okay? Uh Uh, will the royals uh, welcome Harry and, and Meghan back to the UK? So it's probably, uh, you know, again as well, isn't it? Look, she doesn't know, they don't know, uh, the royals are under uh, pressure, you know. Uh, it's not clear there's a lot of stress going uh, around and Meghan and Harry are putting a lot of pressure on them with the media to get back into you know the the royal family's uh, good box and this like maybe little thing with uh, the queen um you know is is that angle I don't think, uh, you know, things are truly uh, decided uh, at all. And I know William's taken a stance. I know he's been firm and I know he's been, uh, you know, for it. How would, uh, you know, will Kate, uh, will Kate uh, welcome back Harry into the family? I've just seen her uncle, Kate's uncle. I think he's uh, he's not got long. Him with a grey hair. I don't know if he was a bit of a player. He, he's passing to Yeah, Kate and William just know it is an absolute uh, bad idea. But unfortunately, it's like in our family, you can't... You know, my, my dad... Uh, I've got a, another brother who was a bad boy, you know, a, a really bad boy actually. But anyway, uh, he's a bad boy, but my dad still speaks to him every week, you know, uh, and sees him when he can. So he's hard, isn't it? You know, whereas I don't bother at all. That's it, gone. You, you know, you're you're out my life. You was a pain in the ass to start with, uh, and be gone now. So they're not happy. Okay, uh, okay, so, you know, what's coming up uh, next then? Uh, just general for uh, Megan, okay? General for, for Megan. What's coming up, <laughs> if there's anything general about her? Yeah, she's got to make peace, you know? This is all about healing with the royals. That's what she's doing to keep her title and everything else uh, and the money you know they know don't they they know and we know why they want to reconcile with the royals we know why because they failed you know they've got no money they want the titles they want all the deals they want to sell everything you know 
Uh, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable. Now, the Queen, I can figure there, she's 95, you know. But Charles, you know, you're just making a, a rod for your own back, really. Uh, but, yeah, she's uh, she's trying. She's got to do it. She has been told she has got to, to do it. Uh, and so that is what she's going to do. Oh, uh, so, you know, love bombing Harry. Love bombing the royal family. Trying to, you know, you mark my words over the next few weeks. Uh, you'll see these stories uh, uh, coming through, okay? Catherine and, and William don't want to know. Don't want to know, okay? Uh, and, you know, if there was a bloody vote at the moment, and always has been for me, uh, William is king first. William, not Charles. So it doesn't really matter to me what uh, the Charles does. I don't like him. He, you know, he's too wishy washy, isn't he? He's always, you know, make a stand and stand by it. But do you know, when I say that, I kind of take that back as well because I have said before I would forgive my children anything. Anything. And you would as, as well, you know. You might not like it. <clears throat> you don't even have to like them. And you might not even, you know, you don't certainly have to, to like their partner. But it's, uh, you know, it does cause us a lot of pain, doesn't it? Uh, when we're not talking to our families. I mean, really, now, you know, they're that bloody walk out there. You can't say bow to a ghost. Honest to God, you can't. It's a... Uh, uh, and they pull you up on everything. Uh, I, I only managed a five-minute conversation with my eldest boy uh, before I want to wring his neck. <laughs> no, you didn't, Mum. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Uh, well, that is that. So, we know I'm absolutely... I think I need a, a, a coffee now uh, after that. So, they're just trying to worm them way back in. And, well... They do a good job in the end. They do a good job. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, reading. I'm glad the Queen's going to be okay. Uh, and, uh, oh, Jesus. Them too. Them too. <laughs> we'll get over it. Uh, I'm doing all live shows uh, on Sunday. Uh, all of them. So the Aussie, the America, the UK. Just so you can uh, catch up on one of you. You don't have to wait a month uh, to, to get read for. Uh, so uh, just check out those. The, the details are on the end of each video uh, as well. So amazing, amazing. Okay. <laughs> right then, guys. Bye now. Bye-bye.